Yo guys, what is going on? It is Royal here today on the brand new season of OP Legends Prisons. Guys, this server just reset literally not even a full 24 hours ago by the time you guys are seeing this video. So if you guys want to come check out the server, hop on and use my custom IP, royal.oplegends.com. The server is Bedrock and Java compatible, so it doesn't matter what version of Minecraft you guys are on, you can still hop on and play the same exact server. Now, guys, we are doing something a little bit different this prison series, something that we have never done on prisons ever. This season of prisons, we are going to be playing as a complete and fully default player. I have no kits. I can't use my G kits and we're not going to be able to spend any money unless we get credits through like trading and stuff. I'm thinking by the end of the week, guys, I'll probably have like a decent ish amount of beacons, right? We could probably just go ahead and sell those beacons for straight. What the hell? Bro, why does it, how does this guy have a guitar on his back? I didn't even know that was a lunar cosmetic, but yeah, I'm thinking at like the end of the week, so we can sell our beacons for credits and start buying stuff in game like that. I could also create a fully default cell, but I just want to be honest with all of the cell members if you do get on my gang i'm not sure how comp we're going to be able to be obviously if we're all free to play but also after the first week i'm going to be extremely busy so the second week of prisons like it might not be the greatest of looks to try and place so i'm thinking we might just you know kind of play chill we're going to be default let's go ahead and just try to farm some credits as a free to play player so anyways guys first things first to get started as a default you want to go mine at other people's minds and wait hold on we have a prisoner's dilemma right now wait did, did they already pick uh, i'm gonna sabotage we need credits wait no the mind just reset bro please click it i have chosen to sabotage let's see if we win any credits what where am i bro what, what actually just happened to me bro okay slash spawn and i successfully sabotaged this guy right here and earned five credits bro i am sorry oh bro and he noticed as well that is not a good look that's my bad bro but I'm default. I need the creds. I can't lie to you. So anyways, first step, you want to look at slash mine list. Whatever is the highest level mine Wix right here already has a level 20 mine. The next highest one is like a level 17. So we're definitely going to go over to Wix mine. I don't know if these guys are going to let me mine here though. I'm going to be honest, but you want to mine at the biggest mine on the entire server because dragon burst is obviously the best enchant on prisons. And the bigger the mine, the more orbs you're going to get every single time dragon burst prox load. I think that was Wix already looking at me. I might actually get beamed from this mine. I don't know. But anyways, without any start of the world crates, the start of prisons is going to be pretty brutal. You guys can see I'm literally going up like single amounts of orbs. So we can't buy any enchants or anything. Oh, wait, you know what we can do though? Oh, here's what we can do. Whenever you guys hop on the server, I don't know if you guys know that you can do this, but you can literally hop on and do slash free rank. And it's going to give you a free mortal rank. Now, if we do slash kit, we can go ahead and pop this bang. I believe it gave us a couple of keys and a money booster. And there's actually a guessing event right here. Guys, if we win this, we are him oh my god i thought i got it for a second that would have been 500 creds right there unfortunately power scully won it but anyways just like that we oh my god and that's one of the new enchants this is probably going to be the best enchant on start of the world i'm guessing but yeah just like that we got ourselves a free rank on the server already if you guys are also playing default definitely pop a slash free rank and bro we have to take advantage of all of these global boosters right now with everybody opening up their start of the world crates and stuff popping global boosters it's just going to help us and right here we have 50,000 orbs let's go ahead and get up oh my god yeah bro that's worth like literally nothing let's actually get carpet bomber the brand new enchant i am throwing all of our orbs onto this enchant right here boom carpet bomber thank you very much and we should probably get some combo here in a bit slash skills is probably going to be the best way we make orbs as a default right now because right here level one we got fifty thousand blocks of orbs when do we get more hundred thousand blocks right there and you can run through this entire skill tree relatively quickly oh and we'll get a free start of the world crate oh my god bro that's 100 percent what we have to do because right now guys it's gonna take a miracle to get a dragon burst pro so it's gonna be a super super slow start but after you know we get our pickaxe upgraded a little bit we can start snowballing just a little bit better as a default because right there what the i don't know what i just got but i just got hella orbs bro we got 250,000 blocks of orbs right there. Oh, and I somehow do have 34 regular pet boxes. Actually, open these up. I'm going to have to go to my plot because I'm not going to have any PVs. I mean, do I actually have one? I might. I have one PV with the free rank. So we got some chests down. Let me claim all of these keys real quick. We're going to keep popping these open. There are some new pets this season. I'm assuming they might not be in regular pet boxes, but we have like a Lucky Blocks pet. There's a Guardian's Blessing pet and a Proc Ray pet. But for right now, I just want an orbs pet. And we have a couple of tier ones. Can we get anything 
better. Okay, tier one is, is gonna be what we go with. It's all good. It's gonna take a little bit of time to level up anyway, but I am gonna have to find a way to buy some more pet boxes or just get some more pet boxes because uh, we can't spend any credits. But again, focusing skills right now, I do wanna upgrade Carpet Bomber as much as possible. And I just accidentally went to my own mind slash mind list, heading back over to Wix. And guys, I literally think I'm just gonna grind for a little bit. I'm gonna progress through all of my slash skills and all that stuff. I do feel the pain of defaults, okay? Because the start is going to be so brutal, so completely entirely slow. But I do believe we can snowball with this carpet bomb enchant. We just have to get it to proc. So yeah, let me take a real quick cut right here. We're gonna progress through our slash skills, level up some of our orbs, pets, all of that stuff. I don't know why infected is literally stalking me. But yeah, I will see you guys in one second. Oh my god, hold on. Gravity run event. Guys, if I win this, it's 500 credits. But bro, it's gravity event is laggy as it is. And I have two other Minecrafts open right now. We might literally freeze. So if you're watching the video, you know, prepare for a little bit of lag. I'm gonna have three Minecrafts open. Um, OBS running, obviously we're recording. This could be terrible because this is known as lag run anyway. But if we win this guys, it is a free 500 credits. I haven't won one of these in literally so long and it's not looking like we're gonna win this one. Oh my God, server's lagging. Oh my God, okay. It's back. Bro, honestly, this is like so much luck. As long as no one cuts you, I just, I sold. I literally choked. I literally choked, bro. You obviously run faster whenever you're jumping. And that's on me. I completely, I botched that one. All right, that was probably my worst attempt of gravity run in my entire life. Okay, so let's just go ahead, see who wins. That's my bad. We'll, we'll be back to taking a cut. I think uh, this guy might have the win over here. He is playing super smart. Yeah. Wow, that was Luke? GG's, bro. Yeah, he had a great strategy. He was using every single block possible. But anyways, um, I sold. We're back to mining. I do also want to get a lemonite armor set as fast as possible so yeah we're gonna have to do with these amount of grinding here for start of the world okay guys we've only been mining for like maybe 20 minutes of but what the Oh, it was up there, bro. I was mad confused as to what the hell was going on. But I just found the way that we are going to get uh, some ranks, some free loot boxes, things along those lines. Guys, since we're free to play and we are so broke at the start, these relics are actually going to be our best friends because you can win relic keys on um, tier three modifier boxes. This is going to basically be the only way I can get modifiers. So these are going to be huge. And then obviously you can win ranks out of these relics. You just have to get a little bit lucky. Honestly, usually I never want to win ranks because I never need them but right here out of these legendary relics i know they're ninety thousand blocks to complete the relic but on start of the world ninety thousand blocks really isn't going to take long because you have no enchants so getting raw blocks is so much easier on start of the world but yeah right now guys it's uh it is brutal still i'm not even getting um a full rank whenever i sell my backpack and i don't want to use orbs on upgrading my backpack capacity because I need orbs for all of my other enchants because our pickaxe is looking down horrendous. I don't think I've seen Carpet Bomb proc one time, but I feel like I'd have to mine in my own mind to actually see Carpet Bomber. So we might just spam upgrade Dragon Burst as much as possible right now. And then we'll uh, maybe start going for a little bit of orb greed whenever mines get a little bit bigger. Honestly, that probably won't even be in today's episode if I'm gonna be real. I don't know how long it's gonna take to progress, but really quickly, let's head to Slash Spawn because I did claim some uh loot and relic keys just from the boat parties and stuff so i do want to go ahead open those up and we got another relic we have another chance at a demigod seasonal rank right here and then out of these free loot boxes or relic crates would be amazing but out of these crates guys you do actually end up winning orbs and stuff so hopefully we win some orbs because i need them so bad and we also entered this chat giveaway if we win a giveaway is that like low-key um allowed to like open whatever we win i think it might be a start of the world crate i don't know but the giveaway event is over let's see if we win this and no we didn't blue brains got it it was a start of the world loot box for free that is unfortunate we could have really really used that anyways slash crates how many crates do we have we have 23 mine crate keys open all of these boom it's gonna give us some boosters and stuff oh my god wait 400k orbs how many did we have before we opened up those mine keys because that could actually be huge, bro. Crates again. We have loot crate keys, 400k to 1.4 million orbs. Oh my God. And we got a small pet backpack. We absolutely take that slash crates again. Party crates, you know, got us like another 100k orbs, which would take me a long time to mine out usually. At, what, what did I just get this for? We got robot boxes and then 36 relic keys. Boom. We are at 2.6 million orbs and we got modifier boxes, bro. Actually, I just remembered on prisons. Uh, modifier boxes aren't that great because there's no orb mods here. That's on me. I completely forgot about that. I'm not going to lie, but we just opened up a bunch of pets. Let's throw our pet in there. Can we ascend anything? 
to a higher tier possibly okay we have a tier two 46 more regular pep boxes and bang we have ourselves a tier three orb spent we take those let's go ahead pop open these modifier boxes we did get two money mods um i guess we'll take it it is better than nothing and now we have 2.7 million orbs to spend guys i literally want to throw it all onto dragon burst and honestly it's only enough for 150 levels so it's not like that was anything crazy but stacking up on these mine keys might be the move bro i don't know how many orbs we actually got from it let's open up another 21 real quick we basically have zero orbs to 290k wow these mine keys are actually going to be the move for me all right not a bad start guys i'm going to take a cut i will bring you guys back whenever we complete these relics and maybe we can get a rank upgrade already off rip that would be amazing okay guys we've been grinding for a couple of hours uh by now pickaxe isn't looking too great but we are making some progress on dragon burst we almost have it at level 1000 but i already have myself one lemonite chest plate right here so it's gonna give us a little bit of a money boost and we're working on the other one but i completely forgot about the slash relics we should start claiming these right here i think we're hoping for free loot boxes out of these legendaries or i mean honestly yeah free loot box right there and then actually the relic keys are going to be pretty good as well so we take those let's place down our free loot box and see what we get Three hundred thousand blocks of orbs not bad at all could we win some more nope we are just gonna win a ton of of rank ups jesus christ but guys i am ranked 1600 which is not high at all all the all these players right here that are ranked like 20k they use the pouches g kit so that's why they're so much higher you guys should know the pouches g kit strategy by now i do it basically like every single season but i did see jewelfish was ranked like 2k because he opened up some start of the world crates which you know obviously gives him a uh, a pretty fat amount of ranks but this isn't a versus series but i will be damned if jewelfish beats me in ranks this map bro there's absolutely no way i will allow that even as a free-to-play player no shot anyways right here we can open up this one bank 12 more relic keys right there this is where we have a chance to get a demigod seasonal rank and we got ultra pet boxes and this one's just gonna be pet boxes as well so a little unfortunate but we can throw this back in there for the demigod seasonal rank right there this is a hermes if we could win it out of that um this one is just gonna be pet boxes this doesn't look too good i might not even put this relic in there an aries rank i don't know how high that is but we have got to win a rank out of one of these relics eventually bro and then this legendary relic you do have a chance to win a tier four modifier box so these ones take forever to complete but a tier four modifier box is gonna be pretty good because i can't win any tier four modifiers any other way but let's go ahead open up these ultra pet boxes right here i think lucky block might be a really good pet guys i'm not a thousand percent sure but i would love to test out the brand new lucky block pet and you can only win them out of ultras so let's just go ahead spam open all of these we got a tier five proc rate pet that's a brand new one but did we get a lucky blocks pet we did and it's a tier three i I, I definitely want to test this thing out. We might not test it out in today's episode because we're still using our orbs pet to level it up. Oh my god this guy just hit four hours of combo everyone will get a 12x money multiplier for 10 minutes bro is he the first one to get that i don't know i took like a little bit of a break also somehow my mind is level seven um guys if you want to mine it my mind you know you can but i definitely don't recommend it i'll probably start mining here uh way into the future of the actual series but i mean hey if you guys do want to log on and help me level up my mind that will clearly be greatly appreciated but i don't even recommend doing it so anyways we are back to wix mine we're gonna take advantage of this huge huge money booster right here it's actually like insanely fat bro a 12x is nuts and i'll be damned if jewelfish beats me in ranks bro there's i'm just not gonna allow it to happen but really quickly let's hit a slash crates i should have claimed yeah we have 145 mine keys bang that got us up to 3 million orbs and do we even want to open up the rest low key i'm kind of debating whether or not i want to start selling my mine keys i think they're going for like five trillion dollars per could be worth it super early game or it could not be i haven't really made up my mind because i kind of want all of the orbs i can get and these keys are giving me orbs so maybe i won't sell them just yet we'll open up these as well we're at five million orbs probably the most i've had so far and then bang yeah 5.7 million literally all straight on a dragon burst and now we have dragon burst at level a thousand it might be time to start investing a a little bit into orb greed because the mines are starting to get to a higher level this one's already level 49 so yeah let me start saving up some orbs okay guys i was literally mining and we just got the start of the world loot box but it was auto claimed we didn't actually get to place it down so we ended up winning some money boosters ultra pet boxes and then some orbs right here 3.5 million blocks i forgot that those things are auto opened i really wanted to open it for content for the video but it's all good all right we still got the stuff anyway what the hell is this gain a point 
0.6x money multiplier for every armor tier. Wait, what? Do I just apply this right now or do I have to wait until I have like higher armor tiers? I don't know, but I'm gonna hang on to that and wait until I have more information. That's actually something brand new to the server. And if we hit slash relic, can we pop any of these? My inventory is so full, dude. I actually have to go over to my plot to go store some things. Realistically, I'm not gonna use any boosters until we have the max size mines. I did get a medium uh, pet backpack right here and we have 60 ultra pet boxes. I'm gonna hang on to the ultra pet boxes because that might be a challenge for slash pass later in the future. Boom, orb greed, 40,000 raw blocks, 16 ultra pet boxes. See, that's exactly what I mean. Let's go ahead and pop 16 of these and bang. Yeah, I gotta start working on my slash pass. I haven't really done anything to be honest but like supply drop we're not completing this challenge key finder ooh, i should actually upgrade a little bit of key finder because keys are so good right here bang we're gonna get only 180 levels jesus christ also slash gang bro i haven't done any gang goals or tried to do it but pray to god we get just something super easy to complete as a solo default because if not we're cooked so new goal hard rank ups oh i don't mind rank ups dude rank ups are super easy to get and it's actually going to be easier than activating key finder because my key finder is a terrible level so we only have to rank up a thousand times get a thousand ranks bro that it is so incredibly light work we got super lucky with our first gang challenge and okay yeah wix mine's still the highest level so let's tp on back over here now slash relic dude please tell me we can get a demigod that we didn't get the rank we got more ultra pet boxes right there these are going to be some pet boxes aries we can win aries and no we got loot crate keys still working on this epic relic to try and win a hermes seasonal rank i have no clue how high hermes actually is i mean no it's pretty high it's like right below apollo and i think apollo is the highest rank you can get from being like free to play i believe the only way to get neptune is either obviously buying neptune or to win it from like one of the crates so your boy will take a hermes rank if we can win it but anyways guys i think that's gonna do it for the first episode of the prisons default series we're about to make plenty of progress here in the next coming videos obviously it was just start of the world today so didn't make too much progress but we can also pop these lemon knight armor sets right here um still got to do a little bit more grinding to get the boots but we have this going someone let me know how this money scroll actually works if you guys do know should i wait till i get like at least a sapphire set or something and then pop the money scroll or will it always go on to whatever armor set i'm confused or maybe you put it on one piece of armor oh that would make sense and in that case you would definitely want to save this now whatever the case may be guys um we're gonna go ahead and end this video off here in the next episode guys i'm going to work on getting a better rank wait hermes nope we got ultra pet boxes um we still have this for a tier four we have another demigod right here another a, a possible apollo rank out of this legendary relic which is the highest rank you can get as a free to play i believe and then this one will have another chance at an aries so in the next episode hopefully we do upgrade our rank because right now we are chilling at a mortal so not the greatest but anyways guys hopefully you did enjoy the first episode of the prisons default series if you guys did make sure you guys drop a like some of you guys are new obviously come check out the server bro literally just reset it just dropped i do believe this season we might try and make a gang of straight free to plays or maybe not even free to plays maybe i'll just be free to play and then i make a sell maybe we try to comp we'll see so anyways hop on start working on your guys' pickaxe, start getting a little bit overpowered, get your rank up, and yeah, we will be recruiting in the next couple of days. So enough yapping, I will see you guys in the next episode of the Prisons Default Series.